Fault monitoring. This one, Team Wal Team Walrus, don't ask, is very proud of Dr. Braun. Wait, this one team, Dr. This one team, Walrus, is very proud of Dr. That's a weird comma placement. Um, a small MRI specifically designed to fit in the foropter when fed through or fed enough power and imaging can process the visual information response from the st from stimuli. In layman's terms, it can read a test subject's mind and show an actual picture of what they're thinking about. Oh, really? Uh, that's the promise, at least. But the images are very grainy and indistinct. Starting from the standard Rorschach test with hundreds of volunteers, our computers could reliably identify these images with 71% accuracy. Still early days, but the promise of getting involuntary glimpses into a population's mind could be a game changer for vault management. You know, that feels like... That's like a massive violation of privacy, huh? <laughs> when we developed far more useful word associations that could assist in over any overseer, by default, the following are programmed in. Traitor, inefficiency, gossip, complaint, and kitten. That was our test case. Hitting bugs, removing it from the lineup. Improved eye care. Simple synopsis of this, this experiment, Ted. His team made a better tool for optometrists everywhere. That's it. Nothing else. Please, please process my request to reassign his whole team somewhere far away and cold. But you know what? You know what would be really great, though? What if we take a vault, but there's one woman and 99 males? Get the fuck out of my room! We're put, we're flashing images in someone's eye. That's what we're going with, buddy. The power cycle is just the best! Man! Wow! It also doesn't exist anymore. Yes? <clears throat> Looks like we have our first patient. Yes. Before we begin, Clem, uh, how do you feel about children? Uh, they're all right, I guess. You ever planning on having any? I, I don't know. Why are you asking? Just idle chatter. Go on. Hi, you here for an eye exam with the for... With this thing? I guess. Go ahead and get in. Yeah, it was weird that Kiri walked up to the chair and grabbed a cup out of her ass. So, what do I do? Just stay still. Oh, my head feels hot. Oh, well, just stay still. Fuck, it hurts. Oh, God, I feel sick. All right, sorry. I'm working on it. Were you nuking me? What the hell? You know how these experiments go. It's just a small irregularity. Nothing to concern yourself with. Bullshit. I ain't buying it, Overseer. This ain't over. What the hell is your game? You invite Clem and me in here to experiment on us? You some sort of sicko? Oh, you don't even know the shit that I do. It's not what you think. <laughs> you can't talk your way out of this, pal. At least up in the Commonwealth, everyone's up front about trying to kill you or rip you off. Come on, Clem. Let's leave. These guys are assholes. But I can't! The power cycle! Gotta pedal some more when I'm done here. Run while you can, Clem. Oh, well, at least up, up, up outside they're honest about trying to kill- Yeah, because this eye machine, our soda machine, and a- Bicycle was going to kill you. So one of our residents left. Well, it'll be easy enough to replace her. The important thing is that our work is progressing admirably. Yeah, and I think what happens is if you pick uh, like two of the, if you pick like two of the evil in quotation mark, pick two of the evil options. I think uh, two or more, that lady leaves, and if you pick. Two of the good options, maybe the overseer leaves. I think that's how it works. What's the next job? This last experiment is my pride and joy. Following in the footsteps of Dr. Braun and the others, I have spent my time devising my very own prototype. Its premise is this. We are all flawed creatures, each with our own vices. 
What if our vault didn't pointlessly try to stamp out these predilections and instead harnessed them? What vices are you talking about? Well, greed, the schematic, is for a slot machine. I designed it to be as enticing as possible. Choose the experimental parameters and let's see how it fares in the field. Yo, uh, yo, vault take over, Sir Boss. What if we, uh, what if we made our vault, what if we made our vault people gamble? Oh, calm down, Hitler. You get a raise too. All right. So where'd um, did Lady get out already, or is she just taking the uh, scenic route? Okay. Well. Okay. Well. Good job, asshole. Simply went outside to go see if that lady was out here somewhere, but I guess the raiders have respawned. Well, looks like it was your first dog fight, though. So I was actually gonna go kill that lady, but I have no idea what happened to her. Oh gosh, my game. My game is fucking lagging the fuck out. Well, I guess we're not gonna kill her today. That's really what I wanted to do, but oh well. Some people complain, but not me. Just happy to be here. Okay, Clem. That's uh that's that's great, buddy. Gambling is alluring by its very nature. Casinos throughout the country have spent millions to further refine its appeal. As in-depth analysis of the techniques involved in Commonwealth psychology today gave me the inspiration to use gambling as a positive motivational force in the vault. The big unanswered question is, what's the best way to use this device? Options. The device could manipulate probability to first entice the subject, then later drain them of all financial resources. This would ensure the maximum amount of revenue for the vault. This is the indentured servitude parameter. The machine itself could be a standard game of chance, but the machine is capable of identifying behavior and allowing the overseer to track those with degenerate behavior. Customer profiling. If there's time for a control, the probability could be adjusted to maximize the returns, i.e. gamblers will win more often than not. Undoubtedly, this would prove popular and expensive, but the lost revenue parameter should only be chosen for A-B testing. All right, customer profiling. Let Clem gamble for an hour. Get over your fuck stick. Random side note. Uh, these things that you can build, yeah, this one gives you a luck boost. So I think, what, you get like one luck boost for an hour or something? So all of the others, they give you like a, 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 a plus one to another stat. Are slot machines supposed to flash? The thing's broke. It keeps making these weird clicking noises. Let's check in with Clem. Oh, hi. Is the slot machine supposed to flash? Every now and again, I swear it makes a strange noise and flashes. You must be imagining things. A slot machine doesn't take pictures of people. <laughs> oh man, but imagine if it did. How evil would that be? Now we just need a variety act and some crime bosses and our casinos set. Ah, your famous wit. It's done. Finally, hundreds of years of refining and planning. And you did marvelously. Voltec would be so proud. I did everything you asked. Can I go back to the power cycle? I really need to. My, what? Gusto, I'm glad you like the cycle so much, Clem. With my life's work done, I think I will deliver our schematics to other vaults to improve their lives. Vault 88 needs you and your guidance. We can't afford to lose our overseer. How touching. Sentiment shouldn't matter in this calculus, but somehow... It does. I will stay. And together, we will make Vault 88 a beacon of hope for the future. Oh boy, what a what a great vault suit. All right, that's everything, right? So anyway, all right, so these things are not in special anymore. I don't know where they go. Maybe it's Power Misk, so we can check that shit out. Nope. Uh, resources vault. There you go. 
So since Clem was such a good fucking sport here, you can take your goddamn bicycle, you piece of trash. Now get off of my slot machine. Or you know what? The thing's broke. It keeps making these weird clicking noises. Yeah, very terrible. Very friggin' terrible. So I guess, you know what, fine. We'll just, we'll just make one of all of them. That's not a good spot for it. But no, we'll just put it right here. Because uh, nothing says good room design like some good old-fashioned <laughs> shitty wire management. Oh, man. Looks like looks like behind my TV. You know what? I need to assign someone to this. What? No, I want to sit on it. I need to assign someone to this. No, I want to sit on it. Don't need to assign. You need to assign someone You really to this. don't. Why are you saying that? Perception boost. I think I got a game bug in the game if it's gonna be saying that shit. So that's the DLC. I'm kinda hungry, but I do wanna I do wanna keep playing and I have more things to like I didn't even talk about Fallout 76 yet. There were some things I wanted to talk about there that kinda bugged My me. Luck's gonna turn Not around. about the game specifically. I mean there are certain things I have concerns over and I have certain thoughts that I would like to share. But there are also things that I have like heard people complain about that I want to talk about which really bug me. So degenerate? Hmm. I think I'm gonna end the session here, and I might come back tomorrow. Hello, neighbors. Welcome back to... Whoa. Oh my god, look at my radiation. I forgot about that. Hey, buddy. I know this guy has something to say because when I got off last time, he shouted at me, so I think I saved before that. Hello. <laughs> you done with all your experiments? I hope I did good. They were real interesting. If so, I'd love it if you'd let me cycle, you know? Some more. That power cycle is just the best. I could pedal on it for hours and hours. How are you doing, Clem? Not everyone's so keen on being here. But you know me, just happy to have a job and a place to sleep. Besides, you'll take care of us, right? Yeah, all two of you. You really are a glass is half full kind of guy, aren't you? Who, me? Heck, I'd be happy just to have a glass. I look forward to giving Vault 88 my best. Oh. Oh. You know what? Where is that other guy? Oh, wait. That's right. So Clem's like my the only one here around. because, you know, that one girl left because the eyeball machine pissed her off. And then the other guy's doing a caravan. Uh, and you don't Finally. count. All right. So today, what are we going to do? We're going to go get some burble gurgles. That's a, a bobblehead. In the normal language. Today, we can finally, I can finally get around. Whoa. That was some weird popping. I can finally get around. Oh, hello, buddy. Uh, Edie, you need to pull your gun. You're not Edie. What, what's her name? Akiri! That's it. Nailed it. Yes, indeed they have. You know what? Do I do I want to get rid of my rads? I'm not. I don't. I don't know if I want to get rid of my rads. I think I'll take advantage of them for now. Wait a minute. Wasn't I over encumbered like a minute ago? Well, I have no idea what could be increasing my carrying capacity if that's even what's going on. <gasps> ooh, ooh! I remember this place. I think there's a side quest here. Uh, but yeah, I don't have that last rank of Bradchild or the original game's Ghoulish, which. I made it so that one gives extra strength and stuff as one of the other bonuses. Hey, are you a- Gunners from Quincy are always coming in here trying to get their mitts on our suits. I keep trying to tell Zeke, we just need to go in there and take them all out. Bunch of knuckleheads. I already killed them. Excuse me. I've got this idea. Hear me out. You don't even know me. Of power armor with a jetpack on the back. Well, it's a far out idea, but... No, it literally works. Uh, hey, robot. <gasps> peepers! How'd you get those peepers, my dude? All right. Don't know if these are the be the, the, the beads. Yeah, the beads. The the people. I thought that was a person sitting in the corner for a second. But hey, it doesn't say it's stealing. But it also doesn't have any parts. So you know what? We're going to ignore that. <gasps> All right. Cat's Poetry Night Tape 3. Uh... So, uh, I'm Rowdy, and I, uh, I wrote this po poem. You're doing fine. What's it called? It's called An Ode to My Hammer. You got this, Rowdy. A An Ode to My Hammer, 
so heavy and nice. Oh, I... I'm sorry, I can't do this. Oh, Rowdy, come back! He knows bleed. Just where do you Can think someone you are? turn off the recorder? This is Adam Cat territory. Uh, what? 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 You're talking to me from over there? Oh, cough up a hairball. Oh. Ugh, go cough up a hairball. Oh, you're cruising for a bruising, pal. Oh, I know what this is. You want to join up with the cats, don't you? I guess you don't look like a total wet rag. Oh gosh, I need to pull out the old-timey slang for these assholes. And you don't look like you've ever used one. Oh, <laughs> you got me, Jack. You got me. All right, all right. Hey, you're one step closer to Coolsville. Now, let's put your skills to the test. My girl Rowdy should have something for you to get your bread hooks on. She also trades in power armor mods and frames. Get yourself hooked up while you're there, Jack. Uh, my character's name is Eden Gein. Alright, Jack is her Mass Effect 2 character. I wrote this one about this thing that happened to me the other day. Yes? I call it Hard Shell. It's on me. A yes. Doing my a thing. Me Break the surprise of the dark water. Beady little eyes, full of hunger, full of rage. I pull out my gun and shoot! But the bullets only bounce off that crusty shell. Those beady eyes narrow as the shell devil grows angrier and angrier. He comes at me faster than before. A bullet finds its way through a crack in the dome. The demon screeches in pain. Those beady eyes close for the last time. I reap the spoils from the kill. And I think this thing and I, we are kind of the same. For I, too, Soft meat under a hard shell. Thank you. Oh, wow. What a. So glad I signed up for Poetry Night. All right, let's look at this thing. Excellent. Permanently unlock a new custom paint job. You know, they have, th they have these messages. Uh, you know, the text pop up when you click on a magazine for a reason, right? They use them for bobbleheads, they use them for magazines, they use them for whatever. So they tell you what it does when the when you get the bobblehead, but why why do some of these they just have the generic you have unlocked something? Wow, that's about as helpful as a screen door on a battleship, alright? Alright, cats. I call this one Metal Heart. <coughs> Metal legs. Metal arms, metal heart. Tool of war, tool of peace, tool of art. I get into my suit and I strut through the wastes. No fear, untouchable. The flames on my suit burning, rising, glowing. The flames are hot, but I am cool. I walk. I run, I ride. My hands are strong. I am a man. No, more than a man. Because, man, I have a metal heart. I have so Thank much you. Faith the world the wow, that was some I of the I may have to that was some of the shittiest poetry ever. What are you talking about, Carrie? All right, let's go around it. Man, I'm going way too fast, man. Way too fast. Uh, not Zeke, set your peepers elsewhere. Unless you are looking for a knuckle sandwich, then go ahead. Well, man, I'm pretty hungry. I could go for one of those right about meow. The legend of Zeke no looking. Rough ideas notes. I was born in a tiny leather jacket. I grew up in Diamond City, left when I realized a diamond was really just a tilted square. Good line, keeping it. Tell that story about how I fixed up an old vertebrate, but crashed it into the ocean. 
That explains why I don't have it anymore, right? Need a few chapters on power armor. Why, it's that... It's the cat's meow. Oh, and some tips on how to make it really sing. Don't reveal too much. They gotta need you for something. Oh, cool. Blank, blank black page there. The Legend of Zeke. The Legend of Zeke. More ideas. I love the uh, alternating capitalization to not capitalization. Story about findings. I don't know why I thought there was an S there at the end. I think I had a fucking aneurysm or some shit. Story about finding the garage. How I single-handedly slayed a huge pack of ferals to claim it. How I met and assembled the Adam Cats. How I rescued them from their bad news lives and showed them the way of cool. Also, how much I love this cookie, this kooky crew. Don't get too sappy, though. Chapter in memoriam of Eamon Andy. The cat we lost too soon. Andy found all the rockin' tunes that we play in the garage to this day. Use this line, he will live on in our hearts and in our jukebox. Oh, 